Hello, I'm Chris Smith with Intelligration, and we have for you a brand new anti-gravity counterbalance system for MESCO system. Here at Intelligration, we've come up with the design and SolidWorks, and now we have got it built and finished and load tested, and have this little demonstration for you before we ship it out. This is the load in where Derek is standing is the counterbalance in. The load end will have have your dead load on it, which will be like your uh, your vacuum system that's stationary on the on this end of the unit, and then your live load will be added to it when you the suction cups pick it up. So this is uh, the scissor mechanism will collapse in. We've got kind of a rough looking uh, counterbalance. Yours will be improved and will nest in there a little bit nicer but we also have it close to the ground just for safety issue. So it'll collapse in a little bit closer to that for shipping purposes, but right now uh, I wanted to show you that it extends out then to a little over 13 feet. There is a stop block, there's a stop block right here that when it uh, touches the other member there, that prevents it from going out any further. There's a slight difference in the balance when, uh, when it's extended or not. So in a normal operation here, you've got, uh, uh, you've got it in the not unloaded uh, configuration and so the first thing you're going to do is bring your vacuum cups down and you're going to go ahead and grab your grab your load and you're going to put that on there activate the suction cups and then change the counterbalance at the other end so right now it's in the load uh, no load in and he's going to switch it Derek's going to switch it over to the load end right now so there's two pneumatic cylinders that are adjusted one to lock the uh, lock the position into either member A or member B, and the other one actually pushes the cylinder. So go ahead, Derek, uh, one way and then the other. So as he switches that over, you can see it uh, counterbalancing the load here. Gets it all the way over, locks into position. Now it's it's pretty it's pretty well balanced in this position. So uh, it can still extend all the way out here. To uh, we've got about a. 100 and 135 25 125 pounds here right now according to Derek and you can see that it has a pretty free movement to go up and down in and out and is pretty easy to position around so let's just say this is your other press where you were going and you wanted to unload this and so you, you bring it over here get it positioned in the press and then the counterbalance is is relaxed and unloaded Go ahead. And you'll we'll probably have to push on that just a little bit to get it to lock into the unload position, Derek. And once it's once you have that unload, then you can release your uh, release your vacuum and take your load off. It's in the press, and then just get it out of the press and do your operation. 